What is up, ladies and gentlemen, Tyler? And that's a W for what, and that's up, the direction. So that's why I say what is up. Wow, I know, I never knew either. Okay, my name's Tyler from TarverAcademy.com, and I'm gonna hit you with the practice problem of the day, okay? So I'm gonna let you work the problem, I'm gonna read it, you write it down, pause this, give it a shot, try something, and then I'm gonna explain how to do it. Okay, so it says, what is 125% of 12, okay? So pause this video, write that down, work it out, get an answer. I don't care if you're like, that's not right. I don't care. You understand more when you try it, and then I can explain it to you. Just hit resume. Ready? Go. Okay, so we're back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Don't ever get that reference. Okay, so we're looking at what is 125% of 12. All right, now, the first thing you're going to think is, is just a general, like, this is kind of what my answer should be in this ballpark, okay? 100% of something means that's what it is, okay? If you fill up a cup 100%, it's 100% full. But if you fill up a cup 50% full, it's only got about half of that, okay? So if I'm filling it up 125%, my cup poureth over, okay? That means you're going bigger than your other numbers. So right off the bat, I know this has to be a larger number than 12, okay? If you don't know that, that's something you kind of got to start thinking about before you start the problem. It gives you a ballpark. So if you like work it and you get like eight as your answer, you did something wrong because it's supposed to be more than 12. 12 is 100%, I'm higher than 100%, so it's gonna be bigger than 12, okay? So that's just something to think about as you work the problem. All right, what is 125% of 12? Here's the little, little formula I like to use for this, okay? Percent over 100 equals part over the whole, okay? I do this little equation. I plug in what I know. Usually they give you two bits of information. I've already got one of them. Then I'm just solving for the thing I don't know, all right? That's what I like to do. Your teacher might look differently on you. If that's the case, do this behind their back. I'm just kidding, teach. Okay, so let's plug in what we know to find what we don't know. That's my little saying. If you don't know that, check out some of my more popular videos. What is 125% of 12, okay? First off, the easy one, 125%. I'm gonna replace that with my percent. So I'm gonna go 125 over 100 equals sign. Now I just gotta figure out if 12 is my part or my whole, okay? Well, that's the, that's, that's, break it down. You got 12. Is that the number you're starting with or is that the number you're finding? Like, is that, is that your original number? Is that your, what you're basing your 100% on? Or is that the number you get afterwards? This is the one we're basing it all on. We're not, it didn't say like um, 15 or, or, I'm sorry, like 20. It didn't say like 20 is blank percent of what number. That would mean that's the part. That's the thing we usually try to find. This is the whole. This is the thing that we're basing our 100% off of. So it goes here on the bottom. And then I'm just going to put an X right there. From here, all you do, cross multiply and divide. So I cross multiply. So I would do 125 times 12, which is, oh dear, that's a big number. All right, it'd be 1, 2, 5, 0, and then plus 250, so 1,500. That's a big number, sorry. So 1,500, cross multiply those, that's 1,500, equals sign, and then I cross multiply those, it'd be 100x. And then I divide, because it's 100 times x, I do the opposite of, of multiply, which is divide by 100. I can just cut out that zero and that zero, and I'm left with 15 over one, which is 15. And that's our answer. Does that look like it would make sense? Yes, because it's just a little bit bigger than 12. I knew that if it was at tw if it hit 24, then that would be 200% because it's like 200% put together. Okay, so if you wanted to estimate, this is what I did. Whenever I looked at this problem, this is what I did. Instead of working this, which I think you can work on almost every problem like this, I did a little estimate thing, and I'm going to show you my cheat code. Okay, this is just for fun. If you want to quit watching, quit watching now. Just make sure you subscribe. If you want to see the cheat code, this is what I did. I thought, okay, I've got 100%. Boom. I know I've got 12 in there. Now, I know I'm going to have to go up a little more. 25%. That's a quarter. That's one-fourth. It's one-fourth of a dollar. We know that's one-fourth of a whole 100%, 25% is. So I just broke down 12. 12 divided by 4, 3. 
I'm only doing, so that means three chunks of three, or I'm sorry, four chunks of three make my 12. So if I'm pulling out 25% of that, I'm adding up that three, and that's 15. So you could have done that as well. But I'll tell you one thing you can't do, and that's not subscribe to this channel. Also, why don't you text your friends? Just be like, yo, you need to subscribe to tarfacademy.com. He's going to make you smarter or remind you of something you learned. Something that I used to know. It's pretty good. It's like four or five years old, but it's still pretty good. That's all I got. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe to tarfacademy.com.